Okay, so you've set up your free MailChimp account and you've imported your list and maybe sent out a campaign or two uh, promoting something in your business. But when it comes to email automations, you have no idea where to start. Well, luckily for you, you've landed on this video because I'll be sharing exactly how MailChimp's welcome automations work step by step. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist and love helping small business owners just like you build their brands online. So why are email automations so important? Well, because an automation means you're able to connect with your audience in a way that's personalized to where they're at in their journey with you and you're able to engage with them straight away while they're super hot. So they've just subscribed to your list and they're gonna receive a series of emails from you which are targeted to wherever they signed up from, whether that be from your website homepage or from an opt-in or wherever it is, you can actually create communication strategy that's targeted to exactly what they need to know and hopefully convert them into a buyer because they're in this space where they're already wanting to hear more from you and you're giving them the information that they need. They're going to be more likely to convert, which is what we all want at the end of the day. So I'm gonna jump into MailChimp and show you exactly how the email automation tool works in the platform. Let's do it. Okay, so we're in the MailChimp dashboard and I'm using a free account. So if you're still just getting started with email marketing, I would highly recommend jumping on MailChimp because you have that free capability. So we'll click on automate and click on email. Cool. So today I'm just gonna be focusing on welcoming new subscribers because I think these are the emails that you need to set up first. Um, they're your quick wins, they're the stuff that every single business is going to need to use, whether you're a product-based business or a service-based business, it will just be tailored messaging based on whatever it is that you do. But let's start with the single email. So this is something you have to set up. So as, um, as soon as someone subscribes to your list, even if it's just your newsletter, they will be receiving this welcome email. So I'll call the campaign name, yeah, just welcome email um, newsletter maybe. So maybe you've got a generic newsletter that goes out to your list once a month this is who it'll be going to. So I've just got a whole lot of lists in here, but I'll just say main list um, and then begin. All right, so you can change the automation time. So what this means is when it will send to your audience. So they've just subscribed to your list. When do you want it to go out? I would recommend immediately, um, unless there's a particular reason why you wanna send it out later immediately works, I think, the best. And then click trigger when you import subscribed contacts. So if you're adding someone manually, they will receive this welcome email as well. Edit from, so I'll just say from Kate Emily because that's my brand and then my email address. So make sure this is an email address that is checked because sometimes people will be replying to any emails that you send. Subject line. Um, I've created a whole video on subject lines on how to create a subject line that's gonna have higher open rates. So if you are interested in learning a bit more about that, go and watch that video. Um, but I will just say, um, Welcome to my tribe. Just as something pretty generic. And then as your preview text, this is the text that comes up next to your subject line. So depending on the email provider and whether someone's using um, a desktop or mobile, this may be seen or it may not. So preview text will be something like um, a little more about how I can help you with email marketing. Cool. And you can add in your emojis if you wanna do that as well. 
So then we want to actually create the email itself. So we'll click on edit design. And then if you want to use a template that they've already created, just click back. And depending if you're on a paid or a uh, free account, your free options are these two and then paid options are these three um, and as well as below as well. So there's more options for paid, obviously makes sense. They also have themes. So if you want to go for something like this or save templates you've already created um, and you can code your own if you've got capability to do that. But I'll just stick to the regular standard layout. All right, so we'll just import logo. And then we might say something like, welcome. You can change your size of your size. You can change the font, you can change the color, all that sort of stuff. It's really easy to use. And then we've got these options to pull things in to your email. So whether you want um, a video, so maybe I will have a welcome video here. We'll get rid of that one. And then I can just add a URL straight from YouTube. So then it will just automatically populate there and they can just click play. Um, and then have a little bit about what I'm going to offer in this email. Um, thank them for subscribing, all that sort of stuff. And then I'll just delete that because we're not going to actually have shopping on mine particular site um, and then I might have um, more about me yeah. and I can change that color great um, one thing you need to make sure you do which I see a lot of businesses forget is to link these up to your accounts so if you don't link them then they're just gonna go to the generic website so we'll just go to instagram.com rather than your profile make sure you update these this is really really important cool so once we've done all that we've added all our copy added in the video all that sort of stuff we'll go preview and test i always say send yourself a test send that to your email address and make sure all your links work um, make sure it appears well on both desktop as well as mobile uh, and then you just go from there and then you go save and continue all right so make sure we've got all the ticks here we've got our email here um, and then oh, this is just a note to say because this is a free account they'll just be adding a MailChimp badge to the bottom that's just kind of part of it it's free advertising for them and then you click start sending so now I'm going to show you the onboarding series so you might want to do an onboarding series if you're creating a program and you're wanting to get someone from subscriber to understand what they need to do in the program or it might be uh, a series of emails as part of a sales funnel after a lead magnet if you don't know what a lead magnet is I have a whole video about lead magnets so go and watch that one now the whole idea of a lead magnet is to get people to subscribe uh, based on getting something for free from you so whether that be an opt-in or a promo code or whatever it is so we're just going to go down the sales funnel route for this particular option so I'll say sales funnel and one of my opt-ins is a brand storytelling guide so it will just be for this one okay so this welcome email will be specific to the lead magnet you've created or the code that you're giving someone so it's not a generic email like the last one we created. It's actually super specific. So I would definitely have it go out immediately after someone has subscribed. So then they'll receive that opt-in straight away, which is what they want. Um, and I wouldn't change any of this stuff either. So I would just go in and design your email, just like I showed you in the welcome email section and go from there. Your second email, on the other hand, is gonna be more of a feedback email. I would change this to be two days after your, uh, your first email was sent. So it gives them a bit of time to read it or to action whatever it is that you want them to action. And make this about asking them for feedback. What did they think? Give them another opportunity to download your freebie or save the promo code uh, for your website. And this email will be about 
education. So we're really promoting the fact that you provided so much value in that freebie, um, or if it is a promo code for an e-commerce store, telling them something that maybe they need to know more about before using that promo code. You know, really educating them on what it is that you do. And this email will be an authority email. So what I mean by that is really sharing why you're the expert or why your product is far superior to your competitors. Get really clear on what the features are or what are the really key point of difference that you can offer your prospective customer or client. This will be your sell email. So this is an opportunity for you to sell your services or your product in a way that really targets what your customer's pain point is and how your product or service will solve it. You might want to add a little extra push by saying a specific product or service offering that might be of use to them. Um, it's about really getting them across the line. And the third one is an education series. So this is how I set up my email nurture sequence. Post a freebie. So say someone's downloaded my email strategy guide, this is the nurture sequence they will get from me. So again, the welcome to my list is giving them that freebie, uh, giving them that promo code and saying, hey, like this is what you asked for. Um, I'm really happy to give it to you. I hope you get so much value out of it. Again, I would ask for feedback. So do that two days later. So do a feedback email asking people why they, what they thought of your uh, freebie or your promo code and giving them another opportunity to download that. But this is where things get a little bit more strategic. So I would say here, so day two, two days later, and then I would make this email all about your other content that will support that initial uh, lead magnet or promo code that you gave them. So for example, this is the content strategy guide. This is my lead magnet. And I would then support this with videos that are related to content strategy. So then it immediately makes them go, wow, this person is an absolute expert in content strategy. I need to learn more. Okay, so I hope this has given you a good overview of how MailChimp's automations work and that it's really not that complicated. It's really easy process to create your content and put it into an email automation. I would definitely start with the welcome email for your newsletter. Start there. That's your absolute quick win to get someone over the line and get them to start following you on other platforms um, and really start recognizing you as the expert. If you decide to go down that sales funnel track or the nurture sequence, then by all means do so. It will just take a little bit of time and some strategic thinking as to what you need to put in each of those emails. But that's it for this little mini tutorial. I hope you got so much out of it and it was really useful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if you loved it and consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here because I create mini tutorials just like this one and also tips and strategy stuff. So there's a lot of content there that you're gonna get so much out of. So I hope to see you back here next Tuesday when I release another video I know you're gonna love. But until next time, bye for now.